Have you ever thought, wouldn't it be cool if GitHub could do this or that? What if I tell you that it actually could? Let's welcome Probot. This is the 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I'll try and explain a concept or showcase a product and service or yet try to teach you something and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. Just click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification so you will not miss any other video in this series and in the other series. As I promised last Friday, today we talk about Probot and how we can use it for extending GitHub and make it do whatever we want. Let's start the clock and get into it. First thing first, what is Probot? Probot is a framework for building GitHub apps in Node.js. It is fully open source and it has about 130 contributors. You can check the repo at github.com slash probot. Probot aims to take all the burdens from you, like receiving and validating webhooks, doing authentication, etc. So you can focus on the features you actually want to build. And Probot apps are not only easy to write, but also easy to deploy and share. In this video, I will be focusing on the pre-builds app because it's a three minutes Friday, while I will have a normal Tuesday video coming out soon in which I will explain how to build a GitHub app from scratch using Probot. Many of the most popular Probot apps are hosted, so there's actually nothing for you to deploy and manage. Just go to probot.github.io and click on apps. And here you have a huge collection of featured apps that you can install straight away into your GitHub repository. Let's see a couple of examples. The first app I find pretty useful is Stale. This is a small piece of code that automatically closes stale issues and pull requests that tend to accumulate during a project. As almost all of the apps, all you need to do is installing it into your GitHub with the Add to GitHub button over here, then create a YAML configuration file with the configuration as detailed in this app page. And you usually have here all you need for properly configuring your app. Another useful one is Mergeable. This is a GitHub app that makes your pull request mergeable only when some condition apply. For example, when certain terms are not in the title or the label, when the milestone on the pull request matches with what is configured, or there are at least n number of approved reviews where n is of course configurable. Next one I wanna show you is Weekly Digest, which generates a weekly automated summary of activity in your GitHub repository in the form of an issue, which contain all of these details. And of course, frequency and data collected are configurable with a usual YAML file. Cool, right? Last one, unfurl links, which generates a sort of preview for all the links that are added to issues and comments in a nice way, as you can see on the screen. I've chosen those four apps because I think they are pretty useful. And also because I wanted to show you that there are many different things that can be automated in GitHub and Probot apps really helps in that. Before closing, let's see how to install an app. Let's click on the Add to GitHub button. First thing, it asks for which user or organization you want to install the app into. Let's pick my personal account. You have to decide if you want to install the app on all the repos in that account or organization, or if you do not want that, you can just select the ones you want to install to. And you have straight away visible the permissions that that app will require. Now just click on the installed button over here and that's it. And we are done. Let's stop the clock. Today I've definitely stayed within the three minutes limit. Cool. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of Probot and what your favorite apps are. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you aren't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave. Oh,